guys, what's up? Welcome to Video Game Book Club. This is a solo review by me, of course, because Daniel is, you know, not here. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a game that has recently come out on the Wii U, and it's been getting some love, it's been getting some hate, um, but that is the latest entry into the Mario Tennis line, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Now, for me, as a huge tennis fan, I was really looking forward to this game. So uh, let's just go ahead and see how it compares to its counterparts on the other systems. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash is exactly what you think it is. A tennis game featuring Nintendo characters on the Wii U. And that's not a bad thing, because the game doesn't need to be any more than that. It's a party game to enjoy with your friends. If you're going in expecting something more than a tennis game, you're going to be disappointed. As a massive tennis fan and a very active tennis player, I absolutely love the Mario Tennis series, and I have ever since the Mario Tennis back on Nintendo 64. And before you start in on me, I know it came out on the Virtual Boy first back in 1995, but I've never actually played that, so the 64 is where it started for me. Obviously, the graphics got a massive bump from then to now, and thankfully they've gone away from the crappy motion controls that came with the easily forgotten shitty Wii port of the GameCube entry, Mario Power Tennis. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash introduces the player to Mega Battles, where toads on the sideline throw out Mega Mushrooms during the match, and whoever grabs one becomes a giant, with a very clear advantage. Singles and doubles modes are both available here, and doubles with giant players can get a little crazy, but of course, it's in the best of ways. It's a fun new mode and a great time if you're playing with friends. But this isn't the only thing the Wii U entry brings to the table. We also get online play and amiibo support. Okay, so this is Nintendo we're talking about. So their online play is somewhat lacking, but it is straightforward. You find a match, you play it, and you move on. Nothing more here. Amiibo support is a little bit better than online play in that you can actually train your Amiibo, much like in Super Smash Bros. And then you have it become your doubles partner. However, it can only be your partner online. Nowhere else in the game can you use your Amiibo as your partner, and that sucks. The idea of Amiibo is great, but Nintendo's usage of them in their games is just severely lacking. Compatible Amiibo include Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and Bowser from the Smash Brothers line and the Super Mario Brothers line, Rosalina, Wario, Donkey Kong, and Bowser Jr. from the Smash Brothers line, Toad, Silver Mario, and Gold Mario from the Super Mario line. While Silver Mario enters the game as a regular Mario, Gold Mario actually comes in as gold. Nice touch, Nintendo. Training your amiibo is easy, but you can only do it in one mode, and that's knockout mode. Knockout mode pits you against an onslaught of opponents where the difficulty grows as you progress on and try to achieve a high streak count. In this mode, you tap the amiibo you want to train and it enters the match with you. Essentially, this becomes a two-on-one match when you use an amiibo, but at the beginning, don't expect much out of them. <laughs> They're kinda stupid. After so many matches, your amiibo gains a skill and they do get better. I just wish that you could play with them outside of knockout mode and online play. Kinda sucks that you can't. Another mode in Ultra Smash is Mega Ball Rally. You start with what appears to be a massive beach ball and try to get as many rally shots as possible. Your computer opponent on the other hand doesn't seem to care though, as they will constantly try to hit winners and end the game. I guess if you're playing with a real person, they might actually be a little bit more useful in this mode. Of course, you also have your classic mode where you can play without all of this. And you can just play pure tennis. Well, pure if you choose the simple style of play. No chance shots or ultra smashes here. Standard mode. That's where you get all of that. Speaking of, a chance shot is a special shot that will appear on the court from time to time. Stand on these spots and hold the corresponding button to hit a crazy shot that usually knocks your opponent back. The Ultra Smash, you know, the shot that the game is titled after, is 
is a jumping smash shot full of rainbows. Yeah, rainbows. It's an extremely hard to return shot, but it's not impossible. You just have to be at the right place at the right time. Usually, this type of shot ends the point though. And it's not a true Mario game if there aren't unlockables. And all of these can be unlocked throughout the game by completing certain things. Or you can spend coins you earn from winning matches to unlock them quicker. They range from unlockable characters to different court surfaces. And speaking of unlockable characters, there's Bowser Jr., Toadette, Sprixie Princess, and Dry Bowser. However, I would have liked Birdo to come back, but that's cool. A big deal. And really, that's about all there is in this game. If you came into this game expecting something heart-stopping and earth-shattering, yeah, you're probably underwhelmed and disappointed. And you deserve to be. But if you, like me, went into this expecting a Mario Tennis game, then you will enjoy this entry in the series. But no matter who you are, you will not enjoy the instant replays after every single point. Yes. So there you have it guys, that's just how I feel. Of course, you know, if you've played it, then let me know below how, uh, you know, how your experience was with it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you missing some things like the ring mode from some of the other games or some of the characters that didn't make it back into this one? Um, you know, it's the latest entry. It's very, very nice looking. Does it make us forget about this pile of crap that came out on the Wii? Oops. You know, no, it, it doesn't. I still know that that game exists. I still hate motion controls, but this game is gorgeous. And that's how I feel about it. So I will see you all in the next time. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it. Yeah, we know you all are busy, and we love that you've taken time to hang out with us for a little while. While you're here, why don't you check out some of our other videos we've made? You kind of owe us them. And we have a website that you can browse through too, you know, if you want to. You can also check us out on Twitter and Facebook. All those links are right here, so it's easy. If you want to see more stuff from us, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and also leave this video a big thumbs up. That would be super awesome. Well, until next time, take, take care, care everyone. everyone.